Hey you guys, what's up? I'm back at it again. Um, with my previous vlog, vlog 75, I seem to start up the pot a little bit. And I, in the ways, you know, I can't say I didn't mean to do that, but let's just say I definitely got some attention. Uh, but first things first, um, dragging. Um, this girl here with the Mike body tune, Mikey body tune, um, going through eight iterate, uh, seven iterations. Overall, the because there was a lot of questions about, hey, what about the tune itself? What about the drag aspects, right? Let's let's focus on that. Um, the drag aspects of this car, phenomenal. Uh, what I mean by that, I think I'm running 305s in the back right now, and they're Michelins, and they could be better tires by all means. But the tune by Mikey Body, the performance aspects is, I'm, I'm I will continue to say that. Yes, I am a, a fan, and that's why I went with him from day one. And the performance aspects, it, it's, it's really solid. And from what I can tell, um, on a very straightaway, on a good day, around like around, I would say 68 to 74 degree, which is most of the time here in Southern Cal, the car can achieve around high nines braking tents, which is really all I'm chasing for. Because my previous vehicle, the NSX, I could not break 10, no matter what I can do, what I did to it. I went with SOS, uh, all the downpipes, all the meth and all that stuff, nothing. I, I just couldn't do it. But with this car, with this tune by Mikey Body, phenomenal. So the other part I wanna address, I, I wanna make sure I, I hear it loud and clear, uh, make that loud and clear. Uh, I highly respect Mikey, Mikey Body, full due respect. And he responded twice on my, on that post within a within the A9X forum. Really appreciate it, I appreciate the feedback. Um, you know, yes, our relationship is tarnished, but it's not, not repairable. Listen, you are a good guy, you are a businessman, I get that, and I really do appreciate all the effort. And by all means, I'm not trying to waste your time. Um, so I really appreciate what you have said, said about, you know, um, the right course of action. No, sir, you're not absolutely not kissing up or sucking up. I get it. You are a respected businessman and a pro at your craft. That's what you are. You and guys like Visconti are pros at their craft. Yes, would it, I mean, would it be perfect? No, because what you're doing is really taking these OEM vehicles and taking it to its limit at times and beyond. And with additional parts to really push these cars beyond what their traditional limits are. So you guys, you guys and your crafts, it's, it's just, it's a talent, right? So that's what it is. I just wanna make sure I keep it out there that I am trying to stay positive. While I really appreciate Mikey stating that, hey, you didn't truly feel like it's bashing. That's not what it meant to be. It was meant to, yes, it was to call your attention, but also make people aware and set their expectations when they're going with a tuner. And to a lot of the guidances that from the various guidances of the vlog and the, uh, the feedback, it's all about setting your expectations, knowing what your tuner will be able to, able to do for you and what they can do for your car. And I'm not gonna again rehash uh, uh, what I thought about um, the five senses and whatever else uh, with it. Um, but at the end, it's really about just what makes you happy as a modder. That's why we do these things, right? That's why we take it onto the drag strip. That's why we go straightaways. That's why we go for the canyon runs. It's all about how you feel and what you wanna do with a car. At least, you know, what we do with it. Um, Mikey, you know, I, I'm gonna be, I, I'm not one to hold grudges. And I, I'm glad that you're not, it doesn't seem like you're the one either. You're still the same guy that I exchanged emails with. I really appreciate your rapid response back on the forum. And you're, you're a classy dude. I know you're a classy guy. Um, hence, this is why I, I, I approached it the way I did. And while some would take offense to the platform that I, I chose to reach out to you, um, please, it was not meant to be a, 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 a torch. Uh, that was not it. It was all about the fundamentals and the core of the sport and our hobby. That's what it was about. And I just wanna make sure that people set their expectations and don't accidentally put their hard earned money into a place where they could have done better or done differently, let's just say, and excuse the word better, done differently. Um, everything that you have done for me as my experience 
With the tune itself, again, life events are life events. I respect that. And I know, you know, from what I can tell, you are a hardworking man. Um, and I highly respect that because, you know, I'd much rather you work than not work because then there's an unemployment, right? Um, you know, I would, I would never wish any, any type of ill will towards anyone or trying to stop their earning ability. Your, your craft and the talent that you and other, um, like John, possess, it's a unique skill. And it's a very gray area because there's no definition to what you can do. But what you can do is take things to a limit that most ordinary mechanics cannot. And that gives you a different perspective on things. And what I ask of you and all the tuners out there is just that while you create this great volume and great type of um, audience and, and client for, you, for your platform, please be considerate and put yourself back into our chair at times and, and think it and, and kind of breathe that through. Um, you know, I appreciate it. I appreciate the reach out. Yeah, when you come out with the Southern Cow, um, let me know. You have my contact information. If you're still up to what you have, you know, kind of typed here uh, in response, I'll take you up on it. Um, in fact, I, I still really want to put, do a vlog with us asking you those challenging questions. And one of the things that I am inviting you to still now after you stood up and you didn't hide from anything and you're right on it and I, I really appreciate that and, and I applaud you again for that um, is that I want to get the insight of what you guys go through the the cycle the phases of how you figure out what is the best for these cars there's no books there's no manuals there's no nothing out there there's no documents or vlogs or anything like that out there to truly help you substantiate the foundational knowledge that you have to ensure that the safety of these cars, the optimal performance of these cars, and also achieve the groundbreaking speeds that you guys have been doing in the eight seconds uh, and, and knowing the, the pressure points of these vehicles. So with that being said, I don't want to go on for hours about this. Um, I really appreciate the opportunity. I appreciate all the feedback, positive and negative. I'm always willing for constructive, uh, always welcome constructive criticism. The only thing I ask is that, listen, be respectful and be politically correct. Um, I'm not here to bully anyone and hopefully, you know, while there have been some activities in, in the threads uh, of what I posted, you know, listen, we're all adults. Be adult and be, you know, we're in 2022. Um, there's no need to go racial or, or, or other type of slandering. Zero need for it. I will stick to the content as the one of the uh, forum, uh, forum admins asked me to make sure it has some relationship back to drag. I told you about the drag. This thing drags like crazy. Pull up against a 911 turbo, I'm right next to it, if not edging it. That's even without the tranny. So I can't imagine you guys out there that has these great tunes by these great tuners or how much performances you're getting out of there. All right, I'm running long. Take care, you guys. Peace out.